Now, your CBS 13 Weather Authority forecast with meteorologist Adam Epstein. Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us on this lovely Saturday night. A little bit cool out there. It felt like fall today because of the low dew points, a different air mass in place, making it feel like a crisp fall day. Another beauty on tap for tomorrow to close out the weekend. I highly recommend getting outside and taking advantage of this one. Temperatures in the low 60s, sunshine, a light breeze. Great weather for going apple picking at an orchard or taking the dog out for a long walk. On Monday, another nice fall day. Sunshine, low 60s and Tuesday. We're going to see some rain with temperatures a little bit warmer in the mid 60s and they'll continue to get warmer from there. So people who enjoy the summer want it to last a little bit longer. Good news coming up in the seven day headlines. A frost or a freeze possible tonight. That's northern Franklin and Oxford counties mainly. So you want to take in that sensitive vegetation that you want to keep around a little bit longer. If you don't care about it, then I guess you can leave it outside. Fall classic for tomorrow. We'll see sunny breezy conditions in the low 60s. And finally, that rainy Tuesday I just mentioned. You're going to have to break out the umbrellas for the morning into the afternoon. We'll go through that hour by hour in just a moment. For now, take a look at the satellite and radar. Shows us, well, a whole lot of nothing. That's because high pressure in command keeps the clouds and rain away. So upon closer inspection, nice and clear across central and southern Maine. And the clear conditions is what allows for such a cool night ahead. There are no clouds to trap in heat, so heat rises from the surface and just escapes into our atmosphere. And then we're left with cold temperatures in the 30s across the interior. So overnight, it gets cold. And tomorrow morning, we start off cold. Temperatures near 40 degrees along the coast and by Augusta, Lewiston, and Freiburg. So I highly recommend grabbing a jacket on the way out the door. Also bring some sunglasses because it's going to be a mostly sunny day. By noontime, temperatures still in the mid 50s. So a nice chill. Highs in the low 60s and by the evening, 6 p.m., still in the mid 50s, but no problems really there. Just a little bit of a wind breeze from the northwest around 15 miles per hour. So on Monday morning, 7 a.m., we start off cool once again in the 30s in some locations, mainly near 40 degrees and a very similar day, except the clouds are nowhere to be found here. Divine sunshine, wall to wall, bright skies, a nice blue sky, low humidity with those dew points in the 30s, so it feels very dry outside. Now it's not until Tuesday that things become interesting. The clouds increase Monday night, Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. Seeing a lot of green here. This is light rain. It looks like we finally get a steady rain come through the state. So temperatures near 50 degrees at 7. High temperatures will top out in the mid 60s and by noontime still seeing some green in here. So around maybe 2, 3 o'clock the rain starts to move out. So it's a morning into early afternoon event. Speaking of fall, today was our second full day of fall. And check out what Sunday River is doing. If you're not looking at your TV screen, take a peek right now. They're snow making. It's not winter yet. Fall just started. Is this too soon? They're testing it out. They're not actually making snow to ski on yet but the test was successful. Tonight, 42, clear and cool, the freeze warnings to our northwest, and for tomorrow, bright and breezy, a nice fall feel once again with temperatures in the low 60s. Here's our seven day forecast, first at the coast, a couple of very nice fall days coming our way. Tuesday, break out the rain gear, mid 60s, and then we start warming up. Temperatures in the upper 60s on Wednesday, that's a transition day away from the clouds and into the sun. We'll see some gradual clearing for Thursday, trending warmer in the upper 60s, but it could reach 70 degrees in the inland forecast. In fact, I am forecasting a 70. Friday's mostly sunny near 70, and we end our forecast on Saturday with some mild sunshine near 70. So Dan, a little bit of everything for everyone. I don't think I'm ready for that snow making yet, but ah. I think tomorrow's gonna be a perfect day for apple picking. I agree, and I'm a summer person, so as long as we get those 70s in there, I'm very happy. It's perfect. Yeah. Awesome, Adam. Thank you.